welcome Credit Union Connection audience to the GAC 2024. I'm here today with these gentlemen from Teachers Federal Credit Union, Suresh, and Manish from Corridor. Welcome. Why don't you uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves a little farther. Tell us about yourselves. First of all, um, Sarah, uh, it's a genuine pleasure uh, being here, and thank you for the opportunity to connect with you. Uh, my name is Suresh Ranganathan. I serve as Chief Technology Officer at Teachers Federal Credit Union, and uh, I lead transformation programs across uh, enterprise IT, uh, digital banking, data and analytics, uh, payments, and uh, enterprise program management. Mm -hmm. So it's been four plus years, amazing journey, exciting thing, exciting times to work with teachers as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you, Manish? So I'm Manish Gupta. I'm a CEO and founder of Corridor Platforms. Uh, Corridor Platforms is a company that's about six years old. Uh, the founding group came out of American Express. We uh, led data and analytics at American Express for a long time. The mission of Corridor is how do you make credit unions and mid-tier banks equivalent to best-in-class in terms of analytical capabilities and decision management. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's our mission. So Teachers is our first foray into the credit union market, and, uh, and uh, we are really, really excited about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's certainly something that we've talked about for a while that, you know, credit unions have all this great data and what can you do with it, right? Um, so how are you all using it, teachers? No, um, at teachers, first of all, we, the, our investment in corridor platform is a strategic move uh, that supports our continued transformation effort uh, related to credit positioning and automation, mm -hmm. right? And certainly we intend to use uh, the Corridor platform because it stands out for its uh, uh, scalable as well as comprehensiveness, comprehensive solution. Mm -hmm. And we intend to use advanced features like uh, uh, advanced decision workflow, uh, real-time credit decisioning, and uh, uh, we intend to use the robust built-in governance mm -hmm. and compliance as well as comprehensive analytics uh, utilization in the system. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we intend to use. Mm -hmm. and, uh, ultimately, the goal of this is to provide more personalized, efficient, and uh, uh, risk-managed services to our members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. Of course, always you know need to take risks, but don't yeah. want that too much, right? Yeah. Keep yeah. it better yeah. managed. Um, and so. You know, what are some of the use cases? That, I mean, you talked, you touched on them a little bit, um, but Manish, could you talk a little bit about the use cases that credit unions um, could have with this? Sure. I, you see, uh, the main kind of change that's happening in the industry or in overall in banking is digitization. Mm -hmm. right? So finally, after COVID, members and consumers are really starting to interact either on the deposit side or on the asset and loan side. And they expect to be able to discover things very easily on mm -hmm. the internet. They want to apply and they provide their information willingly now, but you have to use it responsibly. Right. They even provide your banking data to various institutions to, so that they have all the data. And then they're looking for offers to be made that are relevant to them and they want decision instantaneously. That's the, day, the age we are in. If you don't keep up, then you're not going to kind of be relevant. Mm -hmm. right? So to our credit unions, the members have always been a critical component how to serve them. And now what the members need is this kind of real time, know me completely, give me the right. best offer, and do it in, uh, do it instantaneously and be competitive with the CAC funds, American Expresses of the world. Right? Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? And so that's what we are trying to go on a journey with teachers with. So mm -hmm. they have a lot of data. How do you organize all of that behavioral data that they have from their members, but as they expand even to prospects, you know, all of that data, have a platform that sits on top of it, mm -hmm. that could help them analyze that data, create insights across the journey. You know, who do you want to market to? How do you price them? How do you cross sell? And then how do you even manage them for mm -hmm. in, in kind of, uh, you know, bad times or bad economic sure. times? So the idea is to, to 
transfer all of that capability and knowledge in a short time, but let them own it themselves. Mm -hmm. And with the help of the platform and automation, fewer people can do the job because mm -hmm. you have to do it more efficiently at smaller uh, mm -hmm. banks or credit unions. Sure. And hopefully be at the same level playing field as some of the national players. And that's exactly, you know, we talk about maintaining relevance and mentioned uh, also member service and, and it's being able to provide that member service, you know, you know Bob sitting across from you at the teller station, but now you're going to know Bob even better because you see all the transactions that are going on in the background. You know how to market to them then, and you know, like, it seems like it would be a much more efficient way to, um, to increase, improve your ROI on an ROA, for that matter. <laughs> Sarah, you said it very well, right? Um, teachers is one of the largest uh, credit union in, in the nation mm -hmm. with a national charter. So when, you, when you're that large, there are something we should consider as a core uh, competency that mm -hmm. should be done in-house, right? Collecting the data, uh, analyzing it, understanding the member behavior, and providing the offer at the right time, like Manish said, with efficiently mm -hmm. is key thing. So that's a core competency we want to have in-house, mm -hmm. and, and that's one of the key reasons as well to go with the, the platform. Mm -hmm. The mission for Corridor themselves is to build that ecosystem train us and transfer everything to teachers so we own the functions, we own the data, we own the platform mm -hmm. uh, to power and propel our organization forward. Right, and that way it makes it easier to adapt to your organization too. Exactly. Um, because obviously America Express, huge organization, <laughs> but certainly runs differently than a lot of credit unions. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, being able to um, have those competitive or uh, this new competitive advantage for a much smaller institution yeah. is yeah. It's powerful. Because, I mean, we need more credit unions um, who are able to continue being relevant so they can continue the industry as a whole uh, serving members because credit unions do it in a way that a lot of others just can't or, you know, don't, they can't know their members the way that credit unions do. And yeah. so, um, but now we can know them through their data as well. Um, yes. So it is quite exciting times uh, for the evolution of, of credit unions, and so very much, yeah, yeah. very much. If you see, even even in the industry, right, we live in a we are entering into a new era where mm -hmm. technological advancements mm -hmm. um, uh, absolutely is evolving rapidly, mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, those who leverage the cutting edge technology mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know keep up with the industry to provide. Uh, relevant services to members obviously will achieve a competitive advantage. So. Yeah, yeah, and we have to think more strategically about technology. It used to be like, okay, we got the ATM guy, he's going to come <laughs> deal with ATMs, and he's going to, you know, or this woman's going to be doing our, you know, cash handling, whatever it is. And now it's like really thinking comprehensively and holistically about how a crane's going to leverage it to compete. Absolutely. Cranes aren't each other's uh, competitors. I mean, we are and we aren't, but it's really like, you know, Bank of America, those guys are the ones who are, who are gaining, who are taking all the, the uh, consumers because they have the technology. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. Um, <clears throat> anything else? I always give you guys, the, I'll give you guys the final thoughts. Um, any, any words of advice for credit unions that are looking into a platform like this? Um, I'll start with, start with you, Suresh. Sarah, um, when you are evaluating a platform like this, first start with the vision, meaning mm -hmm. end with the mind, end, uh, with the end in mind, right? Second thing is uh, do a thorough uh, assessment on the platform, the vendors, and the partners. Yes. Right? Uh, bring your stakeholders early on into the process, right? Whether it's uh, uh, IT, whether it's cybersecurity, whether it's vendor management, compliance, uh, uh, lending, mm -hmm. uh, lending teams, bring them early on because they bring a very diverse perspective mm -hmm. and that allows you to evaluate the platform in a way. And uh, uh, certainly understand, and the third point, very important point, we talked about it is, as a, as a company, as a credit union, what is the core competency you want to retain, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, retaining your data, retaining your analytical capability is key, mm -hmm. and what do you want to outsource is key thing. So, when you bring in that order, it absolutely allows us to mm -hmm. uh, pick the right platform and propel our company forward 
uh, and position us for growth. Yeah, no, and I know I said final, that's your final thought. You get the last word, but no, it's so important that bringing in those other people too, because yeah. it's not just an IT thing. Right. All is going to affect everybody in the Absolutely. credit union. How about you, Manish, last words? <laughs> no, I'm going to just paraphrase what he said. I think <laughs> it is very, very important to learn from others in the industry mm -hmm. because that's when you can really propel yourself forward. If you have to relearn everything yourself, it's a very slow journey. Right. And the good thing is a lot of work has been done outside of the banking industry when it comes to just decision management using data, big data, AI, mm -hmm. and within the banking industry, at least by the national players, right? Mm -hmm. So, but you can't be left behind. Mm -hmm. So the, the, what, what we can provide is how do you efficiently transfer over that knowledge in a, in a quick if, a way to credit unions like teachers. Obviously, they have to be willing to transform, and that's the great thing about yes. teachers. The, the leadership through and through is completely vision-driven that they have to transform and serve their members. And if you do that, then we, you can, we can only help. Can, we can give the platform and the learnings. And like he said, the idea of the platform is, can we automate governance, automate a lot of those manual things and show kind of a pathway of in, you know, what's the best way to do it right the first, mm -hmm. first time. A lot of money is spent when you do it wrong and learn as you go and you, know, you don't have to do that anymore. So we kind right. of show all of that and then they take over, yeah. right? And then it's, it's a journey into the future because everything is going to be digital. Mm -hmm. It's not one small thing like an uh, unsecured loan. It's mortgages, auto loans, deposits, member loyalty is redefined, right? It, Nobody's going to stay with you if they can get a better rate somewhere mm. else. And so you know your members very well. You should take that advantage and never lose it. Mm -hmm. And the only way to do that is take all of that data, plus take all of the other data people are using and have the same analytical capabilities, yeah. but do it efficiently, do it with governance, mm -hmm. and do it with fewer people with the automation that technology can provide. Yeah. So that, sh that is the vision, I think, right. that Suration and his leadership as a captain. I'm so excited because if you want to get into a market, uh, you want partners like that. So we'll just want to showcase how that mm -hmm. will work and hopefully help many more credit yeah. unions uh, after that. As you said, credit unions work together. Yep. So we are truly yep. looking forward to that. Yeah, no, and I think the important thing you kind of uh, hit on in everything you were saying was it's about the culture. Yeah, yeah it's the culture and changing that. Anyway, thank you, gentlemen, so much. Appreciate your time. Hey, Sarah, thank you, thank you very much.